guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing another Will I Buy It episode. This is number three for me. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on some new upcoming releases, then just keep on watching. A big thank you to Samantha March for creating these Will I Buy It videos. I love the concept of these. I love sitting down and just sort of talking about what's coming up and like my thoughts and am I gonna buy it, am I not? Am I on the fence about them? And some of your comments have kind of helped me sometimes sway me in one direction or the other. So anyway, let's jump into it. I'm gonna scooch over a little bit so that I can put like product pictures over here. Just like my other Will I Buy It videos, I depend a lot on the trend mood Instagram feed to find out what's coming and when and to see like kind of detailed information about stuff. So I'm gonna stick with her site because it seems to be the best and the most comprehensive. All right, so the first thing on my list is the new Melt Stack, which actually the release date of it has been pushed back. I think they're having uh, just some like production issues or whatever. I think it was supposed to be released uh, oh, maybe like today or this past week or something, but I think they pushed it back to April, which is fine, but it's called the Baby, I think it's called the Baby Girl Stack, um, and it has like a bunch of like peachy, corally, bright, punchy kind of colors. And the first picture I saw of it, the colors looked really similar. Like not just the same family, but almost like the same shade with just like a few ticks of a difference. Um, but since then I've seen some pretty decent swatches of it and some clear pictures of the actual stack and it looks like there is kind of like a nice range with them. And so I'm really tempted. I have a few other melt stacks. I really like their shadows. And ever since I used that one watermelon shade um, or nectar shade in the Vizier Petite Pro 2 palette. I don't know, I'm kind of like in love with these bright, bright, warm, corally shades. So I think I'm gonna be getting this, but we'll see. Uh, next up, NARS released, um, I don't know if they're all new, but like maybe like repackaged or repromoted um, some older highlights, but there's like now like a, a family of six highlighters that they're releasing. And I'm definitely intrigued by these. I really like NARS highlighters. Um, the last two highlighting palettes that I got were pretty decent. I don't think that they were as nice as the Bonk de Sable, which was the limited edition that came out a couple years ago at this point, but they were very nice. And I really, really like Hot Sand. The NARS Hot Sand Highlighter is one of my favorites, and so I'm really, really tempted by these. They just look really nice, and yeah, I think I definitely want to give those a shot. And then next, we have the Marc Jacobs The Summer Collection, like the Coconut Collection. So he's basically re-releasing the Tentastic Bronzer that came out last summer that was limited edition. Everyone loved it. Like everyone just went gaga over it. Everyone was using it all the time. It was everyone's like holy grail bronzer, but it was limited edition and it went away. So they're bringing it back. Um, I bought it last year, so I'm definitely not gonna be getting it again this year because I have not worked through it, not even close. But they're also coming out with a new Dew Drops and I have the Do You Dew Drops and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm definitely gonna be picking up the new highlighter, the new liquid highlighter. It looks really, really nice. It looks a little bit more um, peachy, rosy in tone than last year's Do You, which is very like kind of golden champagne-y. Um, so I'm psyched, I'm really psyched. I'm excited for that. Um, and they're also coming out with uh, a new, I think it's seven pan eyeshadow palette. Uh, same sort of layout as his regular eyeshadow palettes. This has a really nice, um, kind of like warm tone, but like rosy colored eyeshadow. I can't decide. This is what I'm definitely on the fence about. I really enjoy Marc Jacobs shadows. I think they're very, very nice. But the color family, I feel like at this point I have a few times over between all of the cooler kind of palettes that have come out lately. I think I'm just gonna have to swatch it and just kind of dig in my collection and see if I have anything that's too redundant. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If you really want me to review it um, and do demos with it or whatever, if you're planning on buying it, um, then I will definitely pick it up. Um, but I haven't heard that much buzz about it and probably because it's not coming out for quite some time. So I'm probably a little premature talking about it, but I was so excited by the liquid highlighter that I just had to bring it up. So Bite Beauty is, I guess, slowly releasing lipsticks um, that are inspired by the astrological signs. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a Virgo, I'm a 40 year old Virgo, well, 40 plus year old Virgo. And 
And so I'm intrigued by the idea of it, and so I'm like, oh, when they come out with Virgo, I definitely want to get it, but I think I'm going to wait and see what the actual color is and see if I like it. Hopefully I will. Um, but I think it's pretty cool, and I actually haven't purchased any bite products in a while. And I like their lipsticks. I really, I like the scent, I like the consistency, the formula. So if it's similar to their Amuse Bouche lipsticks, then I think I'll give it a shot if I like the color. So I think I may do the, the Virgo Astrological Lipstick when it comes out. Oh! This I'm 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 kind of excited about, but I definitely want to hear your thoughts on it. If you guys are not interested in this, then I'm not going to bother. But Burberry came out with a Fresh Glow Gel Stick Foundation. And I think someone, uh, one of my viewers, commented about this stick because I think it's already been released over in the UK. And they said, you know, can you please review this? But it was just one person. Um, and now that it's released in the US, let me know if you guys are interested in this. I don't generally use stick foundations. I have the Hourglass uh, Vanish Seamless uh, Stick Foundation, and I really like it. I think it's really, really nice. Um, and I do, like, I really like the convenience of it. And like I always say, I travel a lot, and I think that that could be like a good foundation solution. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm just super intrigued, probably because it's like a gel base, so I feel like it's probably going to feel maybe a little refreshing and feel like lighter on the skin than a lot of stick foundations, which I find to be a little bit too thick and heavy. So let me know. Chanel is coming out with a bunch of stuff for summer. So I passed a lot of the spring stuff, in fact most of the spring stuff, because I just, I don't know, I just didn't really gel with the colors that they came out with. They were a little bit too bright and... I don't know, nothing that I would actually want like on my face or my nails, but for summer there are uh, a few new palettes, eyeshadow palettes in the same format of that palette that came out, that like Nude Essentials palette that came out last summer that I really, really love. Um, so I think I'll be picking those two up and then there's some new Le Beige powders that are coming out. I'll probably go in store and, and swatch those and see which one suits me. Uh, but I am very, very excited for that. So hopefully... Hopefully there's more than what I've seen on teasers. Hopefully there's sort of like a whole comprehensive line of things coming out for Chanel um, because I haven't really liked a lot of the things that they've just released. So I'm kind of like itching to, I don't know, to kind of like fall in love with like a whole Chanel line and kind of like dig in. So hopefully that'll be coming soon. MAC Fix Plus, they're coming out with ones that have shimmer in them. I'm definitely getting that. I definitely want to see what that's all about. I think they have different shimmers. Like there's one that's iridescent, there's one that's gold. I just want to check them out. I want to see how much of a glow they give the skin or if you end up with like glitter on your skin. I'm just so curious. I hope they come out with them in the little bottles um, because then it won't be such a commitment. But if it's in the big bottle, I think I'm going to try it anyway. I do like Fix Plus and I think it could be fun. <laughs> so I'm excited for those. So Guerlain came out with a whole slew of products I think to add to their terracotta line uh, for the summer. and. I've never really been into their bronzers, they're always a little bit too orangey for me, so I'll probably pass on those unless for some reason they've changed up their color family a little bit. But part of that terracotta line, they're introducing something called Kiss Delight, and the peach syrup colorway looks really, really fun to me. I can't tell if these are kind of like an oil or if they're more like a gloss, but they look a little sparkly, which I like in my lip gloss. and. It just looks really fun. Let me see. New Balm Lip Gloss, not Balm, but Balm Lip Gloss by Guerlain takes care of the lips while also enhancing their natural hue for delectable results. Its enveloping texture infused with hyaluronic acid moisturizes for divinely comfortable lips and with a non-sticky finish. I definitely want to give uh, at least one of those colors a shot. They have peach syrup and it looks like they have apricot syrup and maybe a third one which I don't see on the Neiman Marcus site. But I think I definitely want to give that a shot. Um, it just looks like a lot of fun. And by the sound of the description, it actually sounds a little bit like the Clay de Peau Radiant Lip Gloss that I love. It's like this very non-sticky lip gloss, but it feels very, very nourishing. It almost feels like lip care versus makeup. So anyway, I think I'm going to give that a shot. And then it looks like Bobbi Brown is coming out with some things for summer. Uh, a new glow shimmer brick palette. I'm actually not the biggest fan of her shimmer bricks. I find them to be a little bit too um, uh, glittery um, or, or just kind of chunky. I'm just, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that. So I'll probably pass on those. 
um, but it looks like they're also coming out with some new blushes, which I may want to give a shot because her blushes are really nice. They have like a nice kind of very, very subtle sheen to them. Like they're not totally matte, at least for the, some of the ones that I've tried. She does have very matte blushes, but for the ones that aren't totally matte, they're, they're a really nice finish. So I'm curious about um, these new blushes and see what they're see what they're all about. So I think that's it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if there are any new products that are coming out that I haven't mentioned. You're curious to see if I'm going to be getting it or not and reviewing it. Let me know. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video.